Welcome on the International Space Station. I'm European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano, and I'm your space correspondent. Uh, my crew and I have been working non-stop for the past 10 days. Uh, first, with the capture of uh, SpaceX-19, the Dragon spacecraft. This is the second Dragon in uh, my expedition, but it is the first time uh, that I get to capture a Dragon. With the Dragon, a whole lot of new things came up, new experiments, new facilities, uh, uh, new things, and a whole lot of science. But uh, some of the science that we've been doing has been on orbit for a while. Uh, if you remember, there was a, a moment at the very beginning of the mission where I was uh, here in Columbus setting up um, uh, a, a chair and uh, different systems to measure how our brain adapts to microgravity in terms of neurovestibular response. How does our brain interpret the signals coming from different vestibular systems, our inner ears, our eyes, our haptic, the way we interact with objects. So uh, we're still studying that, what happens four months after uh, we did the first experiments and the difference between uh, these two sets and what happened and on the ground. Uh, in the meantime, uh, new experiments have come up, like I was saying. One is right here in Columbus, next to me. There are tiny creatures uh, that are very, very, very uh, resistant. They're called rotifers, and they're very resistant uh, to extreme conditions. So they come up, they came up frozen, and I thaw them, and right now they are in microgravity, and uh, they're gonna be here for a while so if we can see how the genome changes for some of these creatures maybe we can understand how the gene expressions changes for humans as well while we are in orbit thank you for watching and i'll see you next time where mostly we'll be talking about the end of the year and the end of my mission coming up